Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about overlapping triangles. So one of the problems I give to my students as extra credit is, uh, and one in which I ask or at least uh, suggest that you attempt, is to try to find out how many pairs of congruent triangles there are in this uh, given triangle on the diagram. So I have triangle ABC, the larger triangle, is an equilateral triangle. And I'm going to tell you that CD, BF, segment CD, segment BF, segment AE are all medians. So why don't you see what you can do, what number you can come up with, and I'll give you an answer in one of the subsequent lessons, in the subsequent lesson, um, about how many pairs of congruent triangles there are. So see if you can tackle this problem. All right, we're going to take care of both the lesson and the practice for uh, this particular subject, overlapping triangles. So really there's no new subject matter we're talking about, just that now we're starting to integrate uh, portions of diagrams and triangles within triangles as part of our proofs. So I'm going to go through one of the proofs just to give you an example of what uh, overlapping triangles might look like in a proof. So I'm given, I'm given that AC is congruent to AB. AC is congruent to AB. So I'm going to mark this up in the diagram. AC is congruent to AB. I'm also given that AE is congruent to AD. So I have AE congruent to AD. And I want to prove that CE, CE, let's do this in green, I prove that CE is congruent to BD. All right, well, I'm given AC is congruent to AB and AE is congruent to AD. And then I also know that angle A is congruent to itself. All right, so angle A is congruent to itself. Now I have two triangles that are congruent by uh, side, angle side, and those two triangles are going to be, let me get my marker set here, those two triangles are going to be A, C, E, and A, B, D. So I have the two sides, A, C, A, B, that are congruent, and then A, D, and A, E that are, that are congruent, and then I have angle A that's congruent to itself. So by side angle side, I know that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle AEC. Now that I have this, I can say that side segment CE is congruent to side segment DB by CPCTC. So in this case, I have triangles within triangles. I establish the two triangles that are congruent, and then <clears throat> I establish that the two sides or corresponding sides of the triangle are congruent by CPCTC. So let's talk about some other problems that involve overlapping triangles. And let's go first to uh, problem number 12. I'm given that HO is congruent to MO, JO is congruent to KO, uh, HJ, segment HJ is the altitude for HJK, MK is the altitude for MKJ, and I'm going to prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, so let's go through, I'm just giving this to you and we're gonna go ahead and mark up the diagram. All right, so I have HO is congruent to MO. I've already marked those up with two tick marks. JO is congruent to KO. Again, two tick marks. HJ is the altitude to HJK. So I have a right angle here, HJK. So here's my right angle. And MK is an altitude to MKJ. So here's my right angle. All right, and I wanna prove that angle one is congruent to angle two. So I'm given HO is congruent to MO, JO is congruent to KO. I've already written them on the diagram. I also know that angle JOH is congruent to KOM. So I have angle JOH congruent to angle KOM, and they're congruent because uh, they're vertical angles. So vertical angles are congruent. Now I can say by side angle side that triangle JOH, let's do this in a different, JOH, J, OH triangle is congruent to angle KOM by side, my angle, and my side. So side angle side, JOH congruent to KOM. Now I can say that side HJ is congruent to MK by CPCTC. So let's kind of erase some of this because we're going to continue on. So I've got HJ now congruent to MK by CPCTC. Now I also know that uh, HJ is the altitude of HJK and MK altitude of MKJ. 
I already stated that as a given, and I have written that here. So I have two right angles in MKJ and HJK. And I write that angle HJK and MKJ are right angles by definition of altitudes. And I say HJK is congruent to MKJ because right angles are congruent to each other. I also know that JK is congruent to itself. JK is congruent to itself. So now you see I have a side, an angle, and a side. A side, an angle, and a side. So again, now I have two congruent triangles. HJK and MKJ that are congruent by side angle side. Now I can say that angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 2 by CPCTC. So angle 1 congruent to angle 2 by CPCTC. And I'm done with the proof. Okay, last problem <clears throat> for overlapping triangles. I have YD congruent to ZD, BD congruent to CD, E is the midpoint of YZ, and I want to prove that BYZ is congruent to CZY. All right. So again, I've marked up the diagram. YD in double tick marks is congruent to ZD, double tick marks. Uh, BD is congruent to CD. E is the midpoint of YZ, so I've shown E is the midpoint, so YE is congruent to EZ. And I want to prove that BYZ, so BYZ, this section here, is congruent to CZY, that angle there. Okay, so um, I write statements and reasons YD congruent to ZD, BD congruent to CD. <clears throat> Let me just change this here. And that's given. Angle BDY is congruent to ZDC because vertical angles are congruent. So again, I have uh, BDY. angle BDY that's congruent to CDZ because vertical angles are congruent. Now I have a triangle <clears throat> YDB let's do that in red, YDB that's congruent to triangle ZDC triangle ZDC by side angle side, side angle side side angle side, I have two triangles that are congruent. Now I can say <clears throat> that angle BYD is congruent to angle CZD. So let me back up here and we're going to write that in red because we'll need that. So I have BYD is congruent to CZD by CPCTC. Now I'm going to draw an auxiliary line D to E, D to E, and I've just created two different triangles here. And I'm going to say that. Uh, DE, draw auxiliary line DE, and I'm going to say as a reason two points determine a line. And I need this line in order to prove um, that I have two congruent triangles in YED and ZED. Then I'm going to say that DE is congruent to itself, which it is. And I'm going to say E is the midpoint of YZ, which is given. And then I'm going to say that YE is congruent to EZ, and that's the definition of a midpoint. So now I have two congruent triangles, D. YE and DZE by side angle side, side angle side. Uh, now that I have this straightened away, I'm sorry, by side, side, side. So I have YD, DE, EY, ZD, DE, and EZ. They're all congruent by side, side, side. Now that I have this worked out, I can say that uh, angle DYE angle DYE, which I'll put in green, is congruent to angle DZE by CPCTC. And then I'm going to add BYD to uh, DYE and CZD to DZE to get the respective congruent angles. So angle BYZ now is congruent to CZY because if I add congruent angles, the red angles to congruent angles, the green angles, then their sums are going to be congruent.